In this video, I want to go through and describe how I actually connected an Arduino Nano to an actual working traffic light built from scrapped components. I started with a basic prototype board which I had to shape to fit within the confines of the pedestrian request switch button which is located on the pole. Next I started prototyping my circuit board on a breadboard, working through all the logic and also at the same time building up hardware to control the signalling of the lamps. This definitely involved both the software and the hardware being developed at the same time and gradually but surely I started to bring everything together into modules. These modules such as this transistor array here being used to control the actual switching on and off of the 12 volt loads. I prototyped everything with the Arduino Nano and uploaded the code to it to test it at each step of the way. Later I arranged each of these smaller modules onto the bigger board so that it could fit inside the pedestrian request switch button. Here I'm drawing through yet another cable to power the actual whole assembly. This will be the 12 volt inline from the base of the pole. I thought I'd just show the process on how I actually did this. It's quite a difficult job just uh, bringing cables through to the right places. I threaded a wire through the pole and then taped that wire to the power cable that I wanted to bring up through from the base and did that pretty carefully with a little bend to try and, try and strain relief it a bit and then basically pulled it through. Now it's a bit of a tight squeeze at the top part of the where it needs to come through, but it, luckily it did fit. Fitting the power socket was a little bit more tricky. I ended up having to just hot glue it to the pole, making sure that it wouldn't short out on the actual pole itself. Not pretty, but it's functional. Next it was on to clipping up all the wires and connecting everything together. I also built this little pedestrian acknowledgement LED assembly, which is, consists of several LEDs to replace this AC version which came with the actual switch unit. This one uses a DB104 silicon rectifier to rectify the line voltage coming from the street, which is 240 volts, to something that can power these LEDs. It didn't seem like I could make use of this without really severely hacking it, so instead of that I actually opted in building my own complete circuit. My circuit consists of these red and green LEDs to provide the two different states of the button that the pedestrians press. And it's controlled by the transistors. These again, tip 120 transistors with a 1K resistor on, on their bases. And the, there's a current limiting resistor for, e, for the LED as well. Next was securing everything into their final positions. It was a bit of a chore just making sure that everything fitted correctly and the wiring it did become a bit of a mess. However, it's functional and I can still upload the code to the Arduino that's buried inside. All that was left to do is to seal the unit up and uh, test it out for the first time. This was a fun build and it was a bit of a joy to bring back something that was destined for the scrap heap back to life. Knowing that kids will use this project to learn how an Arduino can be used in a practical sense, I feel like the time that I've spent on this project has been so worth it. Hopefully this video has inspired you to do something with Arduino as well and make something that will benefit others in the process. In the next video, I will walk through the schematic that drives the circuitry for this traffic line. And then in the final video in this series, I will walk through an explanation of the code, particularly how it relates to the interrupt that captures the call request by a pedestrian pressing the button. 